coil or section of loose line can injure or kill if the line suddenly <laughs> tightens. These hazards are commonly known as bites. People working near bites need to watch feet and hand placement. Never stand in the bite of a line. Allow a body part to be caught in the bite or stand near a line that's coming under tension. Pinch points Scary. are created where lines meet fixed objects or other lines under tension. That's scary, the extreme isn't it? force of a taut line over a metal fitting can catch and crush fingers and hands, toes and feet. Be especially aware of loose gloves or clothing which can be caught at a pinch point. Snapback is potentially the most deadly Yo, 50 of all line handling hazards. 50 hats by Zaytism. Don't tell me you don't deserve it. Have a good shot. Yo, I don't deserve 50 bucks, man. Thanks so many times for the 50 bevers, man. You're wild, man. I wish I did. A worn line, the wrong line, or a line under too much tension can part, snap back, and recoil, striking Pluto. anything in its path with Pluto. tremendous. I was, ex I was explaining to chat that recently that I, I, I've been going on tangents and watching videos on, on YouTube about random stuff. And recently I've been watching uh, security measure videos for a bunch of jobs like train stations. Uh, gas stations, boats, planes, just just random Sports. videos like that. Always avoid the snapback zone, the likely path of a parted line. A best practice is to paint the snapback zones on the deck plating as a reminder. Snapped lines, which are wrapped around a lead under tension, can be even more Dude. deadly since they can swing around the lead in a larger arc. That's really scary. Increasing the snapback zone. So what do you even do then? And snapped lines, traveling at the velocity of rifle shots, can also bounce and ricochet off solid surfaces, killing on the rebound too. I mean, you're just dead, right? Yeah.